Hi guys, welcome back to our makeup channel. So to start off this look, I'm going to be taking the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm taking that orangey color that's kind of reddish, reddish tone. Yeah, I'm not even going to describe it, but you know, you saw the color. Here I'm just extending the color all the way to where my eyebrow kind of ends, but also pulling up the color into my crease. Just because I want the look to be really elongated and make my eyes look huge and humongo and dramatic. That is the effect that I'm going for. So here I'm just blending that color out to start off with. Um, kind of a transition color, I would call it. Then I'm going to be taking the beauty, the Huda Beauty palette, and I'm going to be taking um, the Desert Dusk, the color Amber. This color is a more red tone, and I'm just going to be trying to focus it on the crease um, and pulling it upwards just so that all the colors look like they're blended out. With these colors, you want to blend, 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 because it kind of could look like you just placed it on there and didn't blend it. So blend, blend, blend. Then I'm taking the color Saffron from the same palette. And just applying it on the outer corner, I really try to focus like the main color on the outer corner and then try to bring the rest inside. This is just going to make that outer corner a little bit more, have more depth and um, just look better and more cut. If you know what I'm talking about. Because then we are going to be cutting our crease. Because duh, it wouldn't be my channel if we didn't cut our creases. Hello. So that's what I'm doing here. Blending, blending, blending. Blend, 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 blend. You know, just blend until you can no more. Then I'm going to be taking this color from the Morphe 350 Matte Palette. And this color is more red. It did look orange on camera. I don't know why, but it is way more red. And I'm just trying to focus it on my crease, building up that intensity so I could give it more depth. And also it just looks more bomb because it's so red. Um, so yeah, just place it on there. Blend again. Then I'm taking that color from the Jaclyn Hill palette which is more of a maroon color has more of a purple tone on it but um I just really wanted this color to just really emphasize where my crease is because along with all those reds when you blend it out you kind of lose where the crease is and you really want to define the crease because we're going to be cutting it so you want it to look even more defined once you cut it so that is what I'm doing here defining that crease that's why I took a smaller blush blush what am i talking about a smaller brush jessica talk right <laughs> then i'm using the blending brush just to blend everything out and make it look like it all belongs with each other like a family so here that's what i'm doing Duh. blend 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 jessica and my under eye brow highlight that is from the jack and hill palette too and that is that white shadow the second white shadow in her palette then I am taking the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer a little bit on my hand. That was a lot, Jessica. A lot. So you just want the tiniest dot. You can use foundation. You could use anything to cut the crease, to be honest. So here I am just using a little bit to cut my crease. Really taking my time. You really want to take your time in this part. Um, just because cutting the crease is tough. It's already tough, right? So if you go and rush through it, you might mess up. And if you mess up, there's no going back. You literally have to erase your eye and start all over again. I am sorry if you thought there was a shortcut, but there is it. <laughs> um, cutting the crease takes art artistic level which i'm sure all of us have because honestly guys if you guys saw my journey of how i tried to master the cut crease i still want to master other ones so just take your time take take your time girls here i'm taking the color sand from the desert dusk um, palette and just placing it on there because i want to have it set so i can put the next color on it here i'm just double checking i'm in the camera then I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. This is a highlighter palette. It's a glow kit. And I'm taking the color Snow, which was honestly one of my biggest fails. Um, this 
does not work because eyeshadow it was super patchy but since i used it in the other eye i had to use it for this eye but it doesn't even matter because we're gonna be covering it so don't even stress out so just choose a white shadow that's really like blingy if you know what i'm talking about so using the remaining pigment on the blending brush i'm just gonna use it to pat it on the outer end of my eye and I felt like I needed a little bit more, so I'm just taking that orange shadow we took at the beginning just to blend it out and make it look like the outer end is more smoked out. That's what I really wanted. Then I'm taking that maroon color again from the Jaclyn Hill palette, placing it in the outer corner as well, building up the intensity there. I really wanted to look smoked out and beautiful and sexy and you know what I'm talking about. Why do I say you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> then I'm taking the, some lash glue from Lash XO. And I'm also going to be taking some glitter from Claire's. I got it from Claire's a long time ago, girls. But the reason why I'm taking this glitter, it's literally white. You can't really see it unless you, like, it hits the light good. But it looks like snow on your eyes. It looks so legit beautiful. So I was like, just keeping it with the theme of winter. I thought it was beautiful to put a little bit of snow on my eyelids. And then I'm just blending everything out so it looks smoothless and it just belongs together. Again... Then I'm taking the Lancome Mascara, which is a sample, but I do love using sample mascaras. I feel like they're tiny and amazing, so that is what I'm using here. Then I'm going to be using these lashes. These are the Lash XO Starla Lashes, my favoritas. They are amazing, girls. They just make your eyes look bomb AF, so that is what I'm doing here. Yes, work it, work it, work it. <laughs> So I love the ending result, to be honest. Um, here, I'm going to shine a little bit of light so you guys can see kind of the reflex. It looks amazing. Like, it looks so cute. For the face, I am taking a Benefit Professional Primer. Here, you can see my skin a little bit more. But since I do have, like, leftover acne scars where I removed, like, all my acne, um, I do have to place primers there to kind of fill in the pores to make it look a little bit more smooth. Smoother. I'm also using the Makeup Forever HD foundation. Now, I did learn this from another YouTuber called Ver Verdi? 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 I don't know. I think you guys watch her too. But um, she said this combo is fabulous for full, full coverage. I agree. Using the MAC foundation with the other one does give you full, full beat face coverage, which I really love. And for the dramatic look, I was like, it's perfecto. So that is what I'm doing here, putting on the full beat face. And then I'm just going to blend everything out, blend it with the sponge. Now, this combo does make a my skin a little bit dry, but it doesn't matter because we're going to be spraying a lot of Studio Flicks Plus, and that just melts everything, and it just looks fabulosity. So here, I'm just using some of the MAC um, concealer and also the, sh the, the what? The, this by Tarte, this famous concealer. <laughs> I just had a brain fart. What the hell? Um, but I'm just placing it in the areas that I really want to highlight. You guys know this is the usual, the usual. So that's what I am doing here. It looks like I apply a lot of concealer, but I just really wanted my face to be snatched, and I really wanted to try this contour technique because. I suck at contour, yes, like, thumbs up if you suck at it, like me. I don't really put too much focus on it. So here I'm just taking this NYX thing, and I do have to do this face. I'm sorry, my face looks like a fish, I know. But I have to do this face because I do not know where the hollows of my fucking cheekbones are. So then I'm taking this brush by e.l.f., and then I'm just going to stipple it on. But I will be taking a br uh, blending brush afterwards because I do want it to look a little bit more blended out. And this is just so I can know exactly where the hell my cheeks are because my cheeks are just so rounded that I really don't know where the hell to, like, cut, snatch. You know what I'm talking about? Like, snatch those cheeks. I don't know. Then I'm taking a little bit of the Laura Mercier, uh, using this to really set my concealer under my eye, which is amazing for that. I love it. I love it. So, 
doing that and then taking a little bit of the graveyard girls um sweet tea bronzer i use it as a smaller brush but then i blend it out with a bigger one i didn't show you guys when i blend it out with the bigger one but i that's what i usually do i love this one i really do then i'm taking a little bit with a triangular sponge and just placing it under the bronzer bronzer i don't know then I'm taking a little bit of blush by Anastasia Beverly Hills, this trio thing, which I will leave the name down below to be specific. Um, and then I'm going to be taking the highlighter from Carly Bibles Palette, which I love this highlighter. Look at that. Look at that. Amazing. Then brushing out the little bake under, the, you know, the contour. <laughs> I can't even talk um that's what i'm gonna be doing then i'm gonna be doing lips guys i love this combo i did try it for the first time in this video but i really loved how my lips look um so i don't have any lip liners because i suck at buying lip liners i feel them like unnecessary but now i just like want to use them so instead i just grabbed this dark brown lipstick by Too Faced that i had um which is naughty by nature which i placed and right now i'm gonna look like a chola but don't worry we're gonna fix it it's gonna be fabuloso fabuloso <laughs> <laughs> then i'm taking anastasia beverly hills strip which is a color that looks so ugly on me if i don't have any liner trust and believe it's so ugly on me um so here i'm just placing it on top of the brown and it still looks like i have chola lips so i'm just taking a brush and blending it this is gonna give it like a cool ass ombre effect like i cannot kid it's so beautiful then i'm gonna be taking a little bit of the lip gloss by rihanna and just placing it on top and it just makes your lips look so juicy i loves it then i'm just taking the studio fix plus and just applying everything on it because i just want to have so much moisture in my face <laughs> then this is the finished look the studio fix plus honestly melt everything in together it looks so amazing to be honest guys so if you guys like this look just give it a thumbs up tell me if you guys are gonna try it out i want to know and tell me your thoughts down below and i'll see you guys here in the next video bye